some of you uh, might not like what I have to say here, and some of you might indeed like what I have to say here, but uh, of late, I've been noticing a plethora of comments uh, cropping up on my videos regarding race, and uh, specifically this whole white-black uh, thing, white men, black men, and what have you. Uh, and I thought it important that I state my opinion uh, on this issue, and after this video, I'll likely never address it again. Um, I remember a while back, Barbarossa talked about it in light of the Norwegian shootings, and I think he accurately, um, by the madman who killed all those children, I think he accurately uh, hit the nail on the head when he said that, uh, you know, men's rights and men going their own way really need to disassociate themselves from any uh, sense of racial purity or what have you. Now, the first point I'd like to make is that, uh, from a pragmatic point of view, focusing on, on, on black men, white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, the whole, the, this is just totally counterproductive. Um, and I also think the stakes are too high. That is to say, we are making, we're really up against uh, a range of mountains, as it were. It's, it's perhaps nigh unscalable. And given the fact that these mountains are nigh unscalable and the progress we do make, and just in terms of information at the very least, is so minute, I have to unfortunately concede, uh, focusing on your individual race within the men's rights movement is totally counterproductive and uh, indeed, um, in my opinion, a waste of time. Uh, now, beyond that, I can offer some arguments why I think focusing on race in general and why race has never interested me in my entire life is uh, a waste of time. Um, well, for one thing, I'm not a person who thinks that race is a social construct. I've never said that. I'm big on my science and I think biology informs in large measure our behavior. Having said that, for example, yes, there are different morphological features and some Races have a different distribution of adipose tissue and fast twitch muscle fibers and what have you. Having said that, whilst race itself is biological, racial cohesion and the desire to stick to one's race is, by, is absolutely not. That is a socialized uh, thing. That's something that's brought about often by the state, I have to say, state coercion. Um, and it's nothing other than a primitive form of tribalism that we best do away with. Um, you can see this by the fact that uh, men growing up, uh, boys who, are, who befriend other boys, they don't, assuming they don't have external input, you know, that is parents or some other figure telling them otherwise, friend Asian boys, black boys, boy, it, it just doesn't matter to them. And so, uh, this idea of racial cohesion or race itself is kind of fallacious. On the other hand, one might argue, well, you know, what about male cohesion? It's quite different because we actually do have inherent biological tendencies that steer us in the direction of male camaraderie. And likewise for females. Females tend to have more female friends and associate more with females. I mean, the male-female relationship is essentially one that um, can be reduced down to the act of copulation. Deep, meaningful friendships, whilst not impossible, are um, far and few between. Having said that, yeah, that, that's basically my point, that um, the, the men's rights issue and male issues, men going their own way, really are universal to males. The plight of the man in Korea at the end of the day is not too different to the plight of the uh, man in New York or the man in Buenos Aires or wherever. It is um, it is indeed uh, a universal aspect of, well, 
being male that we get the shit end of the stick um, in, in virtually every aspect of, of civilized life. And so that is why I will never I mean, have no interest in race, will not talk about race. And I think those who, who focus in on that are, are being divisive and uh, not being very helpful at the end of the day. Uh, I don't, I've never cared about a person's race. I think it's really the individual that matters, but it's just from a purely pragmatic point of view as well, there's no point in talking about it. Um, and in particular, um, for, for those of the, the, the white racial purity bent, uh, if, if you focus in on that and focus on white male issues, or the white male's plight, you're going to make this movement and, and, and men going their ways, lives, a lot more difficult because people will attribute racism to you and you will be uh, put in a uh, unpleasant basket, as it were. And I don't think that's, that's, that's very productive. If you want to do that, well, I'm, I'm, I can't stop you, but uh, you know, the, it's, it's just not very productive and I think it's a waste of time focusing on race. I don't think race has anything to do with men's rights issues because males of all races are subject. We, we are the worker slaves and we've been doing this for thousands if not millions of years. If we count um, Homo erectus and Australopithecus and all the rest of them. So, no, it's, uh, it's a waste of time and uh, you know, if you want to focus on it, go ahead. I'm not going to focus on it and I, I don't approve of it. Um, talking about race. I'm not interested in race. Um, I think it's irrelevant in large scale of things and, and beyond that it's counterproductive and it's not um, it's not relevant to the male uh, men's rights uh, movement or to any indeed any man going his own way. And having said that that's all I have to say on the issue and I will can't promise but likely never talk about this again. Have a nice day.